Bob Squat. Boom. Uh, let's see. I've heard from Corliss. Actually, we've been trading a couple of emails because uh, I had forgotten to send his thing out and uh, then realized that the address didn't look right, but he has confirmed it now. And uh, still haven't heard from Calvin. So if Calvin, you see this, C-A-L-V-I-N, uh, if that's your name in the comments below, please uh, contact me at papasquat08 at gmail.com. Right now we're going to listen to something from somebody named Expiry Date, uh, formerly known as Young Tom, uh, also formerly known as maybe Mental Hospital, and also D's Nuts 808. And it looks like he's from Germany. This little entry on Spotify was written when he was 19. I don't know how old he is currently, but uh, he's got a pretty good number of listeners, monthly listeners, and one of his tracks here, Session 0777, you can see here, that's the long name at the very top here, has 60,000 listens on Spotify. Uh, I will link to this below. This was something that he had sent to me and said, hey, I'd love it if you could react to some of my stuff. I don't think he sent me a specific track. He sent me links to his YouTube channel. He sent me links to his Spotify page and to something else. Uh, maybe it was a TikTok. Um, I don't know if it was on YouTube or what, but I, I didn't bother listening to it because it started playing right away and I had to turn it off because um, I don't want to listen to it ahead of time. So I'm just going to pick his most popular track here, which is track number one, uh, Session Oh seven 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 seven, and uh, let's check this out. Four minutes fifty three seconds, and uh, I'm hoping this works correctly. We were both young when I first saw you. I closed my eyes. Okay, that's that's a little loud. Aha! Because my sound is back up to full. Uh, let's see if I can adjust this here, maybe a little bit. And uh, we'll try this again. No, it's still not right. That's better. I'm going to start over. I have to admit, this is really interesting. Um, like, part of me thinks, oh, this is obviously heavily modified voice, right? But not really in the, not really in sort of an auto-tune sense, although there is a little bit of that. It, more of like the chipmunks from way back in the day, and yet it's, it's not that style of voice. He's doing something different with this. Which I also think is really interesting because I haven't really heard anything like this before. Um, it's it's clear to me just from the way this sounds that he's going for a completely different sort of feel, very artificial voice, not really robotic. It's still, you can tell it's somebody actually singing and then it's been altered significantly. But it adds a really... Strange is the only thing I could say right now. Aspect to the music that I, and it's strange simply because I haven't really heard anything like this before, except for auto tune and when people used to sing like the Chipmunks. Um, and if you don't know what I mean by the Chipmunks, I I don't even know how to explain that to you. Like Elvin, Theodore, and Simon, just go Google the Chipmunks. Um, and it, it was used, uh, that, that voice was used, that chipmunk voice was used in, like, some of the early 80s stuff, especially from um, Nucleus. Uh, they did the song Jam on it, and they used that chipmunk voice. And uh, even Kanye stuff, um, I think it was Questlove, coined the term chipmunk soul because they would kind of ratchet up the, the tone of the voice so it was a little bit higher and faster, and that's what the chipmunk voice sounds like. But this is not that. This is different than that. And um, I like it simply because it's 
strange and experimental and i and i think it actually also sounds good like the music sounds good and it, it i could see why people would really kind of gravitate towards this because it is so different we were both young and I feel so and that's the other thing. This isn't a novelty song. This is somebody singing about, I mean, it's a love song, right? I think back to when I first saw you, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's a serious song, and it sounds really just strange and different because he's approaching it completely seriously, and yet the voice is, like I first said, uh, would probably be regarded by a lot of people as being a novelty voice and it's not that's not what this is it's not a novelty song nice Now, I'm really curious if the voice is going to change, if he's going to come back down and sing in a more natural voice, or if it's going to maintain like this throughout or do something completely different. But I'm loving this sort of really kind of dancey, speedy, almost EDM sort of vibe that he's introduced now. Really, really cool. <laughs> stopped because there's a little section here where it feels like he kind of gets off the beat a little bit and and then seems to continue to kind of miss where the beat's supposed to be landing and I can only assume that's on purpose because clearly he knows what he's doing and knows how to keep the beat if he wants to and yet it doesn't I mean at least I don't think I'm hearing it keeping the beat correctly and it makes me wonder why is it supposed to kind of be a little off kilter and and put you a little at odds like so you expect one thing and it doesn't quite do that so I, just give it a listen and see if you pick up on it <laughs> Now that section got back onto the beat, boom, 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 and I'm, I'm not doing it quite right, but I, I had the beat there for a second and it sounded really good. Uh, I'm going to start it back a little bit. <laughs>
time change. just slowly kind of takes you back out, returns you to the real world, however you want to say it. Uh, very much the early part of the song, and really the first half of the song, I would almost say fits into maybe hyperpop? Maybe I'm wrong, I, I really don't know, I'm just basing it on what I hear in hyperpop and what I hear from this, and it sounds like it would absolutely fit into that, and I honestly think you could probably release the first uh, I don't know what was the, f the first part that was like that really high pitched singing modified singing it was like the first half ish of the song you could release that I think as a single and I think it would be cool <laughs> really like the sound of that I, I absolutely like the sound of that i this is a, one of those kind of weird songs that i think i would download and just enjoy the hell out of every time it showed up on random on my phone uh very very cool so uh tom slash young tom slash expiry date uh yeah expiry date that's the, that's who you're going by now uh i like this and um i would love to hear more so continued success to you my friend this is very cool uh, i can see why this track gets so many listens because it is very different compared to everything else that's out there and really well made as well very very cool i like it a lot uh, please leave him some feedback uh, expiry date go check out his spotify page i'll include links to his YouTube, his Spotify, whatever else he sent me, and uh, this is cool. I mean, it's a really a different sort of music, and I'm I'm pretty impressed by this. As I think it's great. Pop Squat, <gasps> checking out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very, very much. Bye bye.